If Mother Nature can give me a visual block <clears throat> at such a close distance, what about a visual block at a fa much farther distance? And this is one of the reasons why right here alone we cannot see all the way across you know the earth to the other side there, there's just no possible way there's just too much atmosphere or atmosphere conditions air density um, and this is what was happening today um, it, there was sea fog that was supposed to roll in but you could also see that this really wasn't sea fog this was really just humidity big time uh, the chair that I was sitting on was actually soaking wet uh, but you can see how these islands go in and out of vision and then completely disappear um, and you know what I'm saying is basically if you can get this happening way up close to you um, what about farther away you know, when something's much further away, um, like today, too, um, and I'm not even showing that particular part of uh, the video, but I couldn't even find uh, um, Bayport's bird rack at all. Uh, Bayport's bird rack was totally uh, uh, non-visible. You could not see it out there at all, and I tried, and I tried. I kept saying, oh, maybe I'm not in the right place, but I was definitely in the right place. Now, look at the bottom of this boat. Um, can you see where the water line actually is? It's much higher than the visible water line, and you can see that by the mirroring that it's doing on the bottom of the boat. Um, that's because this boat is sitting in some calmer water, or because of the angular resolution of my camera to the water and because of the light being distributed across the water it has mirrored it out and this is something that you know everybody should take into consideration that this visible water line is not the true horizon line because this is very close to me and you can see in some of my other videos how much farther that visible water line is out um, I mean, look at this boat. It's taken up almost the whole frame, and this is this is uh, uh, full zoom. So there's nothing new about this. Uh, now, this is the kicker right here. Watch me track this boat. Keep your eye on them. You keep your eye on them. Watch them. Watch them. Watch them, and this is what happens to boats farther out to where you just cannot resolve them anymore. Um, <laughs> it's not only that you can't resolve them, but they disappear into the light. Because actually, that's what's happening right here is the light is reflecting off of the dense air. And he just vanishes <laughs> within that dense air. He's still out there. He didn't uh, disappear into a different dimension. He, he's still on the water out there, but visually, I cannot see him. And again, you know, as you watch this boat right here, I go back to this boat. <coughs> because I obviously can see him. Also, compare them crab traps to uh, the people's head out there. Um, you know, that crab trap is uh, uh, smaller than than a human head um, so that tells you how far away um, that boat is from that uh, crab trap um, you know it's quite a ways away those two crab traps are uh, closer to me than probably the boat itself uh, maybe halfway um, I, I can't really determine it um, I'd have to zoom back but you know, this is what we see a lot of times is, uh, you know, um, light diffraction. Um, even look at the bottom of the bird, uh, uh, God, those crab traps. See the light refracting off the water. 
or defracting off the water, reflecting off the water. See the lights reflecting off the water in front of the boat? It's all mirroring. And that mirroring plays a big role in how we see and what we see. Um, also the light. Um, there's a lot of things that I think are working in combinations. Uh, you also have uh, uh, the lensing effect that occurs that you know definitely causes things to uh, um, get pulled closer to you. And by getting closer pulled to you, it also gets pulled down, especially if there's a lot of mirroring going on or that mirage. Um, you know, if you look up the definition of mirage, it's just a, um, you know, a fancy word for mirror. Um, it was uh, derived from the French word uh, mirror. <laughs> so in turn, what we have is, you know, the, the penguins in their penguin suits regurgitating what they want you to know and then what you do is as a parrot you just regurgitate the same shit back to them you get better grades um, <laughs> and look at this boat man he's almost vanishing right before your eyes he's almost blending into that background and and this is what occurs when things get farther away from you um, too much light is not good and not enough light is not good too much darkness is not good, and just the right amount of darkness is good. So, you know, when we're looking at objects way out on the horizon, we are being deceived um, by our own eyes uh, and by the light. The light definitely will blind you, and the darkness will also blind you also. Um, <laughs> so, just think about what I just showed you. Um, and think about it out at a farther distance and see what you think. All right, I think that's uh, enough for this one. Um, catch you on the next one. I'm going to probably make this part of another video, a big one.